It's day five of Setax indefinite strike, which took effect Friday, June 14. And so we are here at one of the 46 colleges of education in the country, which is the Accra College of Education, to assess the impact of the strike and largely how students are coping on campus. And it looks a bit deserted. The fact is, most students have gone home and I'm told they are living beyond their budget for the semester. And for them, they'd rather stay home and await their fate. For Fred Amponsan, who is a final year student pursuing mathematics and ICT to teach the JHS level in future, this strike is really biting hard. His course is a practical one, and so supervision and guidance on the part of lecturers is really crucial. He is here to know his course outline, making learning on his own quite ineffective. He dressed not completing his course on schedule by September, should the strike continue. I don't have any course material to read. I don't know, I don't know anything about the course. And um, SHS, I, I, I didn't offer or read a UMass, and I'm reading UMass over here. So me, for instance, it has impacted me negatively. Other students are faced with similar fate, not knowing what the future holds for their education. Today, like this, we had a class, and I came on campus, I thinking that our lecturers may, but they didn't come. So we really need them. Being a final year student, we have about... Only two months ahead of us. We are getting to a two weeks now. No lectures, and we are just there learning on our own too. We need teachers' support to throw more light on certain things. Even the introduction of the courses to us, they have not done that. So there are a lot of things we are going through over here. Hmm. It's very bad. Like, you don't know what to do. Like, since when I've slept, <laughs> I've been sleeping. And when I have to study to, like, there are some concepts that you don't understand. So we are pleading on the government that they should help us to foster our education. All those students are fed, despite ideas to be made to suppliers, students may soon have no option than to go home and wait. If the strike, strike persists, then it means that students will be forced to go home because the, the principal wouldn't be able to feed their student till the strike is over. It's my plea that the government should respond to the two thirds and then the negotiation they had to be put in place for them to come back for academic activities because uh, we had a plan for the year. And so I think it, it, it would be appropriate if we, we follow it. We students to be prepared before we came to campus. Some students are coming from the northern region, the Ashanti region, and other, other far places. And so we've budgeted for the semester already. So I believe they should respond to us for us to have the activities and go home within our budget. The Colleges of Education Teachers Association of Ghana, CTAC, is protesting government's delay in implementing the National Labor Commission's arbitral award orders and negotiated service conditions. Judging from the accessions of students here at the Accra College of Education, it's quite obvious the impact of the strike is dire. And so some agencies should be attached in reaching an agreement with lecturers and government. Josh Quinn, TV3 News, Accra College of Education, Accra.